Yeah. I got y'all with a new video, man. Best budget beef. I'm going to do this one on offense, and I'm going to come to y'all with another video for defense. These is like the best, like the fastest for cheap, you feel me? I'm not going to do O-line because O-line really don't matter. Just get you some goals. You're going to be good. Um, and I'm not going to do QB because there's like 30 different Lamar Jacksons that you could get. You know, Kyler Murray is easy. QB easy. Like, there's like go go to Superstar KO. Go get that free Lamar. You good on QB. So I'm finna just do receivers, running backs, and uh, tight ends. So I'm gonna have a lot of editing because I don't want to just waste our time. So let's get into the first player. All right, Matt Breida, first player. You feel me? Uh, he going for 12k. It's not that much. Go do your solos. Not that much. Uh, he got 86 speed, 85 excel. Good little basic running back. Um, yeah. You feel me? 81 agility. You know, if you need a quick little, quick little 12K running back, Matt Breeder, he one of the fastest in the game right now. And you're only going for 12K. So, let's get into the next running back. Jonathan Taylor, 3K. If you even cheaper than 12K, we get you a 3K run. This is sell? Hello? All right, we back. I don't know what that was, but you know. All right, so this one going for uh, about 3K. You feel me? 85 speed, 84 excel. Agility is way lower than Brita, so you know you're gonna get what you get with the money you're paying for. If you want to go spend a little more for Brita, go ahead and do that. And if you don't even want to spend anything for these running backs, then go get um that uh that team captain running back. I forgot the name. Can't think of it right now. But go get oh Eddie George. Go get Eddie George. This is the last running back. I'll see y'all in a sec. Now this is a favorite from last year. Tony Pollard. Everybody who had a budget score. I had Tony Pollard last year. You feel me? Going for around 4K, 84 speed, uh, 85 XL, 77 agility. You feel me? Uh, not a bad running back. Not a bad cheap low running back. You know, 75 overall running back. You can just go cop right now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the running backs. Last one you can get is Eddie George, like I just said. Um, yeah, let's get into receivers. First receiver, John Ross. I ain't, I forgot this dude was still in the league, to be honest, bro. He keeps getting injured every year. But never mind that. He going for 10K. So he's kind of in that Matt Burita lane if you really if you care about spending a little more coins. 90 speed, basically. 89 speed, 90 speed, basically, at launch. That's really good. He don't have any type of route running at all, as you can see. But there's a call to budget squad for a reason. Really what you want is speed. Like you, If you have speed on the field, then you're going to be winning a lot more games than not having speed on the field. You feel me? 89 speed, 88 SL. Nice little cheap receiver start of the year. Let's get into the next one. Next receiver, Henry Ruggs. The rookie judges just came in. Um, a little bit cheaper than John Ross. Same speed, though. Same speed and actually more excel. So this might be a little better. I think he got more jump, too. Actually, his stats low-key better than John Ross to be cheaper. I probably recommend Ruggs, to be honest, um, over John Ross. But yeah, another receiver. Um, I think I got about two more receivers to show you. Next receiver, Marquise Goodwin, 5K. You can see, you know, lower the lower overall we get. I mean, well, actually, the lower the speed gets, you know, the lower the price gonna get. So this is 5K. Actually, no, this dude got 89 speed, 85 jump, 88 excel. Pretty good. That's pretty good to be only 5K. Good one's another good receiver. Uh, just like Ruggs, another good receiver. Y'all can go cop. <clears throat> uh, I think I got one more receiver. And I see y'all in a sec. Cole Hardman, you feel me? Basically the cheap version, Tyree Hill. You feel me? Uh, what is he going? Was I say 2K? Cheapest receiver on there? 88 speed. They did him dirty with the speed. He, he low-key to probably faster than... Uh, than Goodwin, I'm not even gonna lie. But 78 jump, let's see, you got 87 Excel. Uh, not not bad, not bad. Another cheap receiver. Y'all really wanna get cheap with it, go ahead and get you a 2K, uh, 88 speed receiver. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the tight end. Here's another receiver, Evan Ingram. Now this dude is not as cheap, but it's still affordable, you feel me? And he's the fat. I think he's the fastest receiver, um, fastest tight end in the game. If y'all like to get speed uh, tight ends, 
fastest tight end in the game. Um, 83 speed, almost 80 catching, almost 80 spec catch. Yeah, 84 excel. Pretty good tight end, 6'3". What's his, what's his blocking stats? Uh, what the blocking stats say? Ooh, blocking stats, yeah. Blocking stats is a no-go. So if y'all just want a receiving tight end, Evan Ingram's the way to go. Tight end, Noah Fant. I think he's a rookie that just came in. 8K, a lot cheaper than Evan Ingram. He got one less speed, 82 speed, a lot less catching. So, you know, take that into effect. Um, he got 81 agility, 84 excel, uh, 85 jump. What's the blocking stats? Ooh, blocking stats is horrible too. But you get what you pay for, you feel me? Um, but he's not a bad uh, receiving tight end though. To be 82 speed this early in the game for a tight end, that's not bad. And to be that cheap, only 8K. Yeah, go ahead and get you a no offense if you need that. All right, and the last player that we're going to talk about is Jonu Smith. Jonu Smith is, okay, well, that one just ended, so I feel that. I feel that. Go ahead, just, well, I'm trying to make a video. Go ahead, do that. So, y'all saw he's about 3K. This is just a, a more expensive one. Um, He got 81 speed. So his stats is a lot lower than the other two. I think I would go, I'll probably go with no offense. If I'm not trying to spend 20K on the tight end, I'll probably go with no offense. Um, John New's stats is all right. The catching worries me because they those stats do matter. I know y'all seen like people just dropping wide open passes because they catching not that high, bro. So make sure you actually got somebody with good catching. Um, I think his blocking stats is a little better um, but I think Evan Ingram still had the highest blocking stats. So, yeah, I would probably go with Noah Fent for tight end. Um, receiver, I would probably go with, uh, I'd probably go with Ruggs and Goodman. And then running backs, I'd probably go with Pollard. Because Breed is just, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a running back. Uh, really, I would go with Eddie George. Go get you that Eddie George, that team, uh, uh, what is the team captain, Eddie George? Go ahead and get you that one. That's what I got on my team right now. But if y'all use the team captain for someone else, then I'll probably get the Tony Pollard. Uh, he's always been reliable, you know. Always been a reliable running back. Doesn't fumble that much. So, yeah, go ahead and get you or pick whatever one you want. But thank y'all for watching the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.